So for Joel and Leanne, this is an end, but of course it's also a beginning. They are both with us now to say one final goodbye to CTV, and Leanne, we're going to start with you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be so brave. <laughs> when I walked into the then CJOH newsroom in February of 1989, a magical spell was cast over me. It was a Saturday morning, and the weekend producer was typing yes on a typewriter and smoking yes, a cigarette. He warmly growled, you here to work? And I said, no, but I am keen. I was in journalism at Carleton and had just finished an apprenticeship at the station. As a student, I got to do three stories and I got them to air that week. That was a very big deal for a student. That Saturday morning led to weekend shifts and reporting and eventually live TV. My date of hire was Valentine's Day and that day dedicated to love started the love affair I have had with this community. Your stories, your struggles, your triumphs, your innovations, and your creations. In the context of a daily live show, I've interviewed authors, astronauts, aviators, activists, actors, and that's only the A's. I believe I've interviewed about 35,000 of you. Only an estimate because perhaps I'm in broadcasting since math wasn't really my comfort zone where <laughs> I've always found comfort, as in the warm ways you responded to our show to the interviews, and to the quirky spontaneity. Thank you so much for being my lunch date for 28 years, and over these many years in front of the camera, I've had the privilege of working with the most incredible team behind the camera, the creative, focused, funny, hardworking, resilient makers of television. I've learned so much from you. I promise that although we are leaving this home and your homes in our usual time slots, we will still be connected and interested and engaged in what you are doing. Having grown up with you, it's too difficult to say goodbye. We will just say so long and Joel and I will be spending the next while painting. I will be at my easel. Joel will be painting the porch and the deck. He just really didn't know that <laughs> <Yeah>. before today. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, there's a list. It's okay, though. I'm sure there's an excellent list. I'm sure he very much looks forward to uh, filling some of those items on the list. Beautiful goodbye, and we're going to give Joel a turn now. Well, thank <laughs> you can you. get back at her if you want. Uh, I'm going to take my time because I have to get to that painting. But I guess for me, it began with a public speaking contest in grade school. And while competitors spoke of favorite pets, hockey players, and hobbies, I chose to personify a Bell telephone booth telling tales of all those like Clark Kent who entered through my cantilever doors. The audience loved it and so did the judges. I was awarded 15 silver dollars. I didn't know then that the owner of that now elusive Bell Booth would one day become my employer or that my first love affair with telling a simple but heartfelt story would lead to my life's work. You know, I'm elated it did. The marriage of words, pictures and sound is sacred to me. A powerful story means everything and yet without you, it's nothing. A story needs a teller, but more importantly, it needs someone to hear it and watch it and react to it. You've been that someone, and for that tireless devotion, that respectful attention, I'm humbled and endlessly grateful. There are so many thank yous to extend today. The first to you for watching and caring, for reaching out with your story suggestions, for all those conversations over the years in grocery stores, hospitals, shopping malls, small town restaurants, gas stations, and church basements. I grew up with you. We became family and it's a bond I'll forever treasure. To my own family, my beautiful family, my kids Sydney, Maddie, and Tate, and my best friend and loving partner Lily. thank you for your deep love, raucous laughter, and collective wisdom, and thanks for always knowing me better than I know myself. And to my beloved, industrious, and extended work family, past and present, those in front of the camera, those making the magic behind it, and those who now do both, you're the greatest people on the planet masters of your craft coming together every day and night to do the impossible and I'll miss you more than you'll ever know. <laughs> By the way, I still have those silver dollars I won in that grade 4 speaking competition. They're housed in an original burlap bag wrapped in cellophane so they won't tarnish. And on those days when I don't quite feel like myself, it's likely I'll unwrap a coin or two, a glittery keepsake to remind me that I won the ultimate prize when I stumbled upon this magnificent job and that there are always more stories to tell. Thank you. From all of us here, thanks to you both. Authentic people uh, care deeply about the content. Uh, rural, West Quebec, not just news, people. 
Uh, you both have had an incredible run. People and who think that reporters are a cynical and hard bunch have not met Joel Haslam <laughs> and Leanne Kizak. It was a pleasure working with both of you. It has been a real thrill to work with this team, all of you, and thank you so much. Love you, thank Mom, and, you. Love you Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, love you, Matt. An honor. <laughs>